Hi, everyone. And well, it's June 1, 2021. I'm hoping that all of you don't have any of these Amazon devices like Echo or Ring. My suggestion, if you do, throw them out. If you're not going to throw them out, you need to hear this. Amazon U.S. customers have one week to opt out of mass wireless sharing. Okay. Yeah. That people have these devices is really remarkable because, well, let's see. Amazon facing 75,000 arbitration demands. Now it says, all right, no more arbitration because Amazon has to pay the filing fee for all of those arbitration demands. So Amazon said, well, sue us. Okay, why do they have so many suing them? Because Amazon is recording and keeping everything that it hears with Echo. It's probably not a good thing for you to hold on to it, but if you just can't get rid of it, all right, this is what they're doing. You have until June 8 to opt out. If you don't, you're in. You are in their mesh network. Customers have one week to opt out of a plan that would turn every Echo speaker and ring security camera in the U.S. into a shared wireless network. Yeah, the company is saying they want to fix connection problems for their smart home devices. I, I don't know. I think Amazon is deceiving us. So the proposal, called Amazon Sidewalk, involves the company's devices being used as a springboard to build citywide mesh networks that help simplify the process of setting up devices, new devices. So if you get a new Echo, well, it will set up on its own through Wi-Fi. Even if your Wi-Fi is not on, it'll set up. It'll use your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Mm. That doesn't sound very good. Okay, so, and I'm sure, you know, people will go for it because they claim that when you're out of range from your home Wi-Fi or your internet connection goes down, well, your ring will continue to operate, I guess, as long uh, as well as Echo because it will jump to the network, to your neighbor's network. See, that to me sounds, and I am not a techie at all, but it just sounds like, huh, they're making things more easy to hack. Yeah, Sidewalk has come under fire for the apparent lack of transpar transparency with which Amazon has rolled out the feature, as well as the limited time available for users to complete the tricky process required to opt out. Other critics have expressed concerns that failing to turn the setting off could leave customers in breach of their internet service providers terms and conditions because the terms and conditions of your provider may say we don't allow this kind of sharing huh that I guess what that's left up to you to check out Amazon is just gonna do this okay they want their devices to work better. I guess people really don't know what these corporations are. They're government surveillance centers. Uh, so at its simplest, it means that a new Echo can set up itself using your neighbor's Wi-Fi and they using your Wi-Fi. And that just does seem to be something hackable. 
So Ashkin Sultani, a former chief technology officer for the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, told the tech site, ours, tech, tech, Technica, Technica, in addition to capturing everyone's shopping habits from Amazon.com, their internet activity as Amazon has the most dominant web hosting service, uh, now they're also effectively becoming a global ISP with a flick of the switch. And that this feature may break the terms and conditions of your internet connections. So you have until June 8. And if you don't, disable Sidewalk in the settings section of your Alexa or Ring apps. You're in. You can't get out. So, you might, you might want to do what this guy is doing. Uh, he's going to opt out, just kind of sit on the sidelines, check out what's going on with this Amazon sidewalk. So, he talks about what the sidewalk in. It runs alongside. It's a mesh network that runs alongside rather than replacing your Wi-Fi network. That doesn't sound very secure or safe for the individuals in Sidewalk. Uh, low speed, low power, frugal enough. Uh, it may potentially keep battery powered devices connected without needing daily or weekly recharging. That's enough for Americans to whoop, I'm in. That's unfortunate. Okay, data is shared all the way back to a sidewalk hub, such as a recent Amazon Echo speaker or ring camera. It's all being collected and it's all being stored, that data. It works as a gateway to your home internet connection. Not good. So the bad things about it, a lot of uncertainty, how it will operate, is it secure? Um, if you have sidewalk enabled, not only are you saying that your echo and ring devices will act as sidewalk gateways, you're also agreeing that they'll use a small portion of your home internet connection to communicate with Amazon servers because sidewalk devices will interconnect not all of that traffic will be from your own devices. You could be carrying your neighbor's data and vice versa. You know, the local law enforcement all over the country are getting access to that data. And a whole lot of individuals don't know that. So if law enforcement is looking at the data of your neighbor, they're getting yours too. All right. Uh, allowing someone to use your internet connection? Not good. So, all right. Um, fairly easy to turn off. Go to your Alexa app or your Ring app, and from there, Hit the more button in the lower right corner, then settings, then account settings, and there it should be. Amazon sidewalk option in the list. Um, and yeah, turn it off. Because if you don't, it's on. And you can't get out of that, mesh, uh, that wireless mesh network. So yeah, Amazon, man. Okay, we're not gonna do arbitration anymore. Because uh, it's 75,000 arbitration demands. Hmm. That's going to be tens of millions of dollars in filing fees alone. So sue us. And three class action suits are in the works. They are recording and storing everything. All of your purchases on Amazon everything you're saying in ho at home when you have those echo all of the video that your ring camera is capturing and any of those other devices all right i will link below 
um, be smart. Throw out those devices. Why would you want Big Brother sitting right smack in your home? Ah, uh, there's Big Brother all over. Anyway, good night and good luck.